What's going on everybody? It's Badger DR back here again and today we're turning this little Lenovo M910Q tiny office PC into a full retro gaming console and home theater system. With buttons that are installed directly on a SSD, this thing boots like a real console and runs everything from PS2 to Switch. On top of that, it comes with Kodi built-in, so it can hook into my Jellyfin server and stream all my content on the same device. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. First, let's talk about the hardware. This Lenovo M910Q Tiny is running an Intel Core i5-7500T CPU, integrated graphics, 16 gigs of RAM and a 500 gigs SSD. It's nothing crazy, but it's more than enough for Batocera. To set it up, here's what you'll need. A keyboard and mouse just for the first boot, a SATA to USB adapter so you can flash Batocera directly on the SSD, and a game controller for when you're ready to play. Once you got those, you're ready to go. Next step, head over to Batocera.org, scroll down to downloads, pick the version for PC, and save the ISO file. Batocera is open source and is designed from the ground up for retro gaming and emulation. Now we'll flash it on the SSD. I am using Balena Etcher for this. It's uh, free, easy to use and works on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Open Etcher, select the Batocera ISO, you just download it. Then choose your SSD. Make sure you got it connected with the SATA to USB adapter and click flash. The process will take a few minutes and when it's done, you can eject the SSD and install it right into the Lenovo. From now on, this PC will boot straight into Batocera, no windows required. The SSD install makes it super fast, almost like you're running or you're using a dedicated console. Now we'll do a quick assembly. Just plug your SSD back in the cover and you should be good to go we're gonna do a first boot when you first part it on you land in the batocera menu it might look simple at first but it's packed with features use your keyboard to get to the basics then we'll simply pair a bluetooth controller Batocera also supports unofficial add-ons that expand its functionality even further. I do want to mention this video is for educational purposes only. So to get the unofficial add-ons, you'll press F1 on your keyboard, go into the X term and type this command. Press enter and just let it do his thing. Now once that is done, you can go on the Batocera unofficial add-ons, double click on it. it. Does have a really nice welcoming message. And from here, you, you just need to explore basically. So you'll go in the system utilities. And just explore, you can download Chrome. I do recommend getting desktop for Batocera. But just to show you what options do you have here. And once you got all the stuff you need, you simply go on the exit tab, click enter, and that's it. 
And just to show you, I did install Bato Sera desktop. From here, you can do whatever you like, simply like a, any normal PC. You can easily open a Chrome page, open YouTube, do literally exactly what you need, watch your favorite videos, your favorite YouTubers. But yeah, it's a really cool feature. I'll do more videos about this. One of the best built-in feature here is Kodi. It does come pre-installed with Batocera, and that means the same device you're using for retro gaming instantly doubles as a full media center. I set mine up with Jellyfin, which is my personal media server. I think it is really simple. Just open Kodi, go into add-ons, then under video add-ons, install the Jellyfin add-on. From there, you just enter your server address, username and password, and that is it. All of your media shows up inside Kodi. Now I can stream all my movies, TV shows and even family videos straight from the Lenovo. And Kodi is super customizable too. You can change the theme or skin to make it look cooler, add artwork and posters and organize everything the way you want. Best part is Kodi works perfectly with the same controller you're already using in Batocera, or you can pair up a wireless remote like a Fire Stick remote if you want more like a living room style setup. So instead of just being a retro console, this box is now a complete home theater system and media hub all in one. And here's a cool bonus, Batocera works just fine with a projector. I got mine hooked up here and it's awesome being able to play games or watch movies on a huge screen with the same little PC. Now before we jump into gameplay, let me show you something really cool, how to install RGSX. All you need to do is press F1 on your keyboard to open the file manager, then go into extern, from there just type in this command. Once that's done, don't forget to update your game list and you may want to restart your PC. When you boot back in, you'll see RGSX installed and from here everything becomes much easier to manage. And just a quick reminder, this is for educational use only. I always recommend you use your own legally owned games when setting up Batocera. Of course, it's time for some gameplay. Here we have Mario Kart on N64. Of course, perfect as expected. Next, God of War, Chains of Olympus on PSP, looks and plays amazing. And of course we have Mario Odyssey on Switch. Performance really surprised me. This little PC keeps up uh, nicely. And finally, on the big TV, The Simpsons Hit and Run on PS2. Still one of the most fun open world games ever made.
So yeah, this Lenovo M910Q, tiny with buttons that are installed directly on an SSD, has turned into a complete retro console and media hub. It boots fast, plays a huge library of games, and with Cody and Jellyfin, I've got all my content in one place. If you got an old PC lying around, give Batocera a try. It's open source, easy to install, and honestly one of the best ways to bring new life to all the hardware. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more DIY projects like this one, don't forget to give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. This has been Badger DIY. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.